Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and mm, <laughs> I'm super, super excited to actually be making current dolly videos for you guys again. Oh my gosh. Uh, I want to go ahead and I have a lot of updates. This is going to be like a regular little updatey video, just going through all of the fun, awesome, current things that have been going on with me in the last few weeks in the dolly hobby. But I do want to go ahead and uh, say a quick thank you to everyone who has bothered to watch that big string of videos that I posted that were recorded over the last few months. Thank you guys so, so, so very much for actually watching those and for all the lovely comments and uh, for all the well wishes as I was not feeling all that great, for just for being patient with me in general. I really, really do appreciate it quite a lot, and all of the wonderful, kind comments were very, very nice to see, so thank you guys so, so much for that. But this is going to be just a sort of regular little updated video like I usually used to do, um, but I have quite a lot of things that I want to talk about. I don't want to spend like 500 years talking about each one of them, so hopefully I can do my best to keep them brief, but there's also some pretty cool things in here. And also some of these things I'm actually going to be making another video about too, so I want to keep it kind of brief, if possible. <laughs> We shall see. So the first thing I want to go ahead and say is that I'm still quite busy. I'd mentioned in my previous videos that I was quite busy working on some face-up commissions and things like that, and that is still very much the case. I have lots of face-ups that I'm working on, both for like commissions and also a few for myself. I have quite a few little face plates that I am not keeping of my own. Some of my Unoa face plates and things like that that I just um, have decided I'm not going to be keeping anymore. So I wanted to go ahead and do some just random face-ups on them before I go ahead and part with them. So maybe somebody might be interested in getting a custom painted dolly by me, a special little face plate. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I figured that would be a little cool thing to do. And also it's good practice. I've been doing some more like natural style face-ups on those little face plates. But I've also been very busy with commissions and stuff. So very, very busy with that. I've not really been spending too much time on my own like character dolls, but that will be for a little bit later in the future. I definitely planned on just focusing entirely on my own dolls, so trying to get all the other things done out of the way right now so I can devote more time to them later. So working on that right now, but also I have done a few things for my dolls over the last like few weeks or so, not too many things. In my, my previous videos, I had mentioned that I had received my Immortality of Soul Co who is Hyacinth, of course, and he is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Love him so much, even though he's like <laughs> sitting pretty much naked and like has no face up or anything, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> he is absolutely amazing. I haven't really been able to do much for him. Like I said, I've been busy working on other projects, but I have been able to make his wig, which actually took me like three times. I used so much alpaca, I swear, oh my God. I redid his wig like three times. Just because, like, it's not a really difficult style, I don't think, but it was just hard translating it into, like, real life. Since I usually draw all of my characters, so translating, like, a drawing hairstyle into real life can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. So I did manage to get a result that I was pretty happy with, that I think is pretty close to canonical for his character. So I'm, I'm happy with that, although I don't think you can actually see it in the video because I don't think I have pictures of him taken yet. But I will show you guys in the future, of course. His hair is, like, red with a little bit of like blue sections. You guys will see it later on. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's kind of silly, but it fits him. I've also managed to blush his hands. He has really, really, really beautiful hands. They're kind of awkwardly positioned in my opinion, but I think that actually kind of works for him since I imagine him being really kind of awkward anyway. I, if you guys haven't seen my videos where I talked about Hyacinth and his character a little bit, I definitely recommend going and uh, listening to those. Hyacinth is kind of like a sort of awkward character anyway, so I kind of like the awkward hands for him. But I went ahead and actually blushed those because I wanted to sort of test some color palettes, some color schemes on his resin and just to sort of see what colors that I might want to use for his face up in the future. So I don't really have like a ton of time to like really devote to doing his face up at the moment. I wanted to just go ahead and just work on something small like his hands and just sort of see what colors worked for him. And I think they actually look uh, really nice. I, in one of my previous videos, I actually posted a picture that I took of like his hands and he's holding this little flower pot. And I just really love that picture because I don't know, it's like so, 
hyacinth and like his hands are so pretty and it's, I don't know. Anyway, I like that picture a lot so I had to stick it in there. But anyway, yes, so I've done a little bit of things for hyacinth, not too much. Still have to do his face up and make him a bunch of clothes and everything, but again, I will get to that later on when I have more free time for myself. Another thing that has happened, also in one of my previous videos, if you guys kind of noticed, <laughs> this is just a small random update, but my doll River, who is my Sumtron in bronze skin, he actually has crazy giant wings now! That happened! Uh... <laughs> Yes, um, it's kind of like a strange string of events how I actually came to get these wings, which I don't really want to get into now, but I have these big giant like feathery SD sized Volks wings that I happened to get and I wasn't really exactly sure what I was going to end up doing with them, but there's a little bit of a secret regarding River's character, um, which I don't want to spoil here, but it actually kind of in a way makes sense that he would have wings. Of course, obviously, like, you know, his son, Rom, my little yo SD, Sum Apini, of course, obviously he has wings of his own, but River, <laughs> he wasn't really meant to have wings, but it just sort of happened. So, and it kind of makes sense with this character anyway, so I'll explain it later on. But yes, if you guys noticed in one of my previous videos, I had a picture of River with these giant crazy wings, which you couldn't really see all that much of. But yeah, they're really crazy. They're really cool. I will definitely talk more about those in the future and about River and all that kind of stuff. But those wings are super, super awesome. And I actually want to like enhance them more by putting some more different colored feathers and accents and things like that on them in the future. That'll be really cool. But for now, he just has these crazy giant black wings and they're really, really cool, I think make him look like <laughs> I don't know they're just pretty awesome make him match Rom a bit more too which is funny to me uh, <laughs> so other little updates this one is kind of ugh. <laughs> you guys probably might remember my real fee May who is my character Patina Morrow she is my little bunny statue I had meant to have her so much more complete by this time but of course things just got you know really busy for me and a lot of things happened and I really just didn't get around to actually painting her yet so she was basically just in pieces and parts for a very very long time but I finally put her back together and I had worked on her face up periodically over the last few months just a little tiny bit here and there and I got it to where it was mostly complete so I just decided, you know what, she's been in pieces for so long, I'm just gonna go ahead and restring her, put her back together, and test out her faceplate and sort of see how I like how her face up is going. Because I was kind of like on the fence about it. Again, I don't know if I have a picture of this to show you guys, but just letting you know. I'm not sure if I'm really 100% happy with how her face up looks yet. I love the concept of it. I still think that is like exactly how I want her to look. Like conceptually, I think it's it's really good, but I just don't think the execution of it is quite there yet. So. I don't know if I actually will post pictures of it as it is currently since I'm not super happy with it yet. You know, I am slowly but surely working on her, even though you guys haven't seen her in forever, but of course when I do take that time off to work on a bunch of my dolls, she is definitely one of my, on my to-do list. So yes, a little bit of progress on her, but not really since I'm probably going to redo it, so whatever. Bittersweet in a way. Uh, <laughs> but it is nice to see her put together finally after all this time. I did miss her quite a bit. So, yes, other little updates. I have done a bit of sewing in my spare time recently, like before I go to sleep and stuff like that. I've been trying to work on a few little projects of my own, even though I've been pretty busy. But I've been working on more sewing since I think I've mentioned that my Immortality of Soul Co. Hyacinth, he's such a crazy weird size and like nothing I have fits him and you can't really buy anything that will fit this size of doll so I'm going to have you making a lot of things for him and I also wanted to go ahead and make more of my doll's clothes anyway so I've been slowly but surely trying to practice sewing a bit more and I've actually made quite a few cute little things that I hopefully at this point I will have uploaded on Flickr or maybe they'll be in the video or something I'm not exactly sure but I've made a, a few cute little things specifically for a doll that is incoming, which I'll talk about in a second, but also a few little things for my doll Rift. <laughs> I made a few cute little dresses and actually like a little bra thing for Rift since she has a lot of chest, uh, which needs to be contained. Um, <laughs> so yes, hopefully we'll go ahead and show you guys those sometime soon since they turned out very, very cute and I'm very happy with how I'm progressing as far as sewing is concerned. Sewing is like a really kind of like 
frustrating and not very fun thing for me, but it's not really hard either. It's just something that you have to kind of just sit down and devote to and just focus on. But it's not really very fun for me, so it's kind of like, when I get the inspiration to work on it, I kind of want to just like focus on that because it's rare that I'm like, yeah, I want to sew things and get frustrated. Sure, that's a great idea. Um, <laughs> But yes, I have been getting better at sewing, and I'm very, very excited about that. So, the last little update for the biggest update that I want to go ahead and tell you guys is, of course, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos that I had ordered a CO2 ragdoll, which is this very, very cute little anime-styled kitty sort of doll. It's like the cutest thing ever. Hopefully I will link it to you guys in the description if you haven't seen it. It's the most adorable little doll ever. <laughs> but I ordered CO2 Ragdoll a few months ago and I have finally actually paid off his layaway. So yay, I'm very very excited about that. He is all paid off. I was hoping that at this point he would actually be shipping sometime soon, but I hadn't heard anything back from Stacy's Pink Ocean, which is where I ordered him from. But I did get a response recently after I had finished paying him off and they told me that it'd probably be another month or so until I'd actually see him because they're shipping all of the rag dolls together, including the ones that are blank and also the ones that are full sets. So since it takes a while for the full sets to be made and they're all shipping them together, that means even though I just ordered a basic one, I'm gonna have to wait a bit of extra time to wait for the full sets. So that kind of sucks, but it's okay. I don't really have much for him yet and I still have a lot of other things to work on. So it's perfectly fine if he takes his time, but I'm very, very excited to actually see him since it's like the cutest little doll ever. And I've seen a few owners pictures and oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, <laughs> Just fangirling over here, but yes. So <laughs> the last update that I want to go ahead and give you guys, I've been trying to get through these so I can get to the really, really good stuff here. Um. <laughs> But the biggest update that I have for you guys is that I actually have ordered another doll. Ooh, I know, ooh, I'm crazy. Uh, ooh, <laughs> I have so many dolls that are unfinished. But sometimes things just sort of happen really like serendipitously and you kind of just... It seems like fate that you just have to go ahead and just, you know, take the plunge and if you can get a certain doll that you, you should. And that happens for me quite a bit, I think. So this particular doll is Fairyland Momo. She is the, like, sort of Fairyline MSD Mini Fee Bunny Girl. Hopefully you guys have all seen this by now, of course, I'm sure. <laughs> but I don't want to talk too much about this particular doll and their character in this video. I'm going to save that for another video or two after, but hopefully you guys have remembered in the past I have talked about a character of mine named Petra and that I wanted her to be a mini fee Mio in tan skin and also that she has a pet rabbit named Maro and of course she creates a statue of Maro called Patina Maro who of course is my real fee May. So hopefully you guys have remembered about that character before. My Fairyland Momo is actually mostly going to be working towards actually shelling Petra as a doll finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very, very excited about that. Again, I will talk more about that and all the details in the next video, but I did want to go ahead and say that I actually have ordered Fairyland Momo in tan skin with the bunny feet and not the bunny tailor ears since they don't really work for Petra. I want to go ahead and get her a different set of bunny ears and tails, but she's all in tan and of course, the Momo head I'm not actually going to be using since, of course, I want Petra to be a Mio. I really just wanted Momo for the body for Petra. So the Momo head is actually going to be going to a new owner, and they've already been spoken for, as well as the Mini Feet event head I'm also not going to be keeping, and that has a new owner as well. So yes, I'm very, very, very excited. I have put Momo on a quite a long layaway since I wasn't really intending on getting a doll anytime soon, but Petra was one of the three dolls that I had on my wish list for this year, and it just worked out so serendipitously that the perfect thing for her character happened to be created that would actually like work with her sculpt that I had planned. So it's really, 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 really exciting, and I am super excited about her character, and I really can't wait to go ahead and talk about her and share some things about her with you. So 
that will be my next video, I think, but I just want to go ahead and give you guys this sort of general updated video of some things that have happened for me in the last few weeks and such. So yes, I will definitely talk about Petra and Fairyland Momo more in the next video, so definitely look forward to that. I have lots of fun things I want to talk about. So yes, thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching and listening to me ramble. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking a million miles an hour in this video, but hopefully I got through everything and it wasn't super ridiculously long. Crossing my fingers. Ha <laughs> ha!